Hello. Welcome to Alchemy, because turning pain into power is sexy. You know what they say. New levels equals new devils. <laughs> but what they don't tell us is that your new level also requires you to be a new devil. <gasps> don't, don't, don't. Did she just say that? Hell yes. Pun intended. I did just say that. And I meant exactly what I said. But let me tell you a little bit more. <laughs> Y'all might want to sit down for this one, okay? You might want to sit down for this one, baby. Put your feet up, get your coffee, get your tea. I prefer tea. Pour me a cup while you're at it. Honey, pour you a glass of vino. Take a shot, all right? If you, if you, if you do a little herb, you might want to do that. I cannot join you. <laughs> Outside of this, I do have a job that says I I'm, un I'm unable to do those things. But honey, if I could, I would. All right. Anyway, <laughs> let's get into it. Your new level will require you to be a new devil. As you know, this is our community where we turn pain into power and it being sexy. And as an unorthodox and taboo life coach, Am I a life coach? I guess you can call me whatever you want to call me. Listen, I can go by many names at this point. Ooh, some folks listening to, th to this would be like, she's evil. We know she's wicked. She's legion. <laughs> Aren't we all? Aren't we all infinite beings? But let's get into it, y'all. Your new level will require you to be a new devil. I put a video out on this very topic some time ago. Um, I don't know, almost a year ago, I want to say. And I like to put things out more than once because it's imperative to do so. Sometimes messages get missed. People don't see it. And so when I feel guided to repeat something, I will. Why does your new level require you to be a, do a new devil? Well, if you've read my book, I'll activate, excuse me, activate. Unorthodox philosophies that explore anxiety, depression, and suicidal thoughts as symptoms of suppressed superpower. You already know what I'm talking about. If you've been subscribed here on Alchemy, because turning pain into power is sexy for some time, you already know what I'm talking about. If you are an activated chosen 144 being, then you already know what I'm talking about. If you've been on the journey of the phoenix rising into your power, rising from the ashes, dying and being reborn, if you've been on the dark night of the soul odyssey, baby, you already know what I'm talking about, but we're going to break it down for those who want to hear a little bit more. On this journey of a 144 activated one, as being a being, an infinite being on this planet, it is imperative that you not only activate your light, but you activate your dark, your shadow, your beast. It isn't enough on this planet to just be beauty. You have got to be beast. It isn't enough to just be angel. You have got to be demon. I listened to a video from Sudguru, I don't know, it had to be two or three years ago, and he was talking about the divine goddess, how she, it is very fiery and very passionate. And I loved it and it found its way to me at a time it was supposed to find its way to me. It's kind of like when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. And in that video, he mentioned how it, he said the same thing, how, it, how you must also know how to be angel and demon. Now, for those of you who respect and honor the messages that come through the vessel, Sudguru, then you're halfway there. Now, this is insight that came to me way before the Sudguru video found its way to me. Like I said, when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. When I saw that video, it was merely confirmation of what was already revealed inside of me. If you're going to survive on this planet, you have got to activate your beast. You'll read more about that when you read my book. But Part of our detriment, part of our detriment has been some of the religious ideologies we've been taught. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't think there's anything wrong 
with religion. I think there's things wrong with folks who use religion as a form to enslave the minds of people. That is the problem, right? But some religious ideologies, some religious doctrine has taught us to behave like sheep, right? Do you know how easy it is to slaughter a sheep? Huh? When we've been taught that the meek shall inherit the earth. If that ain't a damn lie, <laughs> look around you. We can look around us and see that that has been a lie since the dawn of time. When we think about God in and of himself, in and of herself, in and of itself, even God isn't all meek. Even God is not sheep. Okay. Read some of the old biblical stories. God was raging war on motherfuckers from here to Timbuktu. <laughs> okay. So if we really want to get real about this idea of God, let's get real. God wasn't all good. God wasn't all meek and humble, overly submissive or humble and giving and catering. That is a lie that we've been told. And so when we you know, think about some of you who probably grew up Christian, my mother raised us up Christian, Jehovah's Witness, Seventh-day Adventist, you, you name it. She tried it all. And she tried it all in, in hopes of keeping us on a straight and narrow. And if we know anything about the journey of the chosen or just being human, there is no such thing as a straight and narrow, baby. It is a crooked winding road, an infinite quick, infinite crooked winding road, interlooped and up, down, sideways, in, out, honey. Okay. And so again, if you were raised Christian, you were taught to be meek and overly surrendering and humble like Christ. And now this is going to rub a lot of you the wrong way, but I'm going to say it how I'm got it to say it. But Christ got fucked up <laughs> a lot, right? Fucked up and fucked over a lot. And if anything that it taught us to be as Christians was to teach other people, if anything, the story of Jesus taught us was how to be weak. And people will argue with me and be pissed off at me that I'm saying that. How dare you say that about my savior, our savior? Well, if you're here, then it means you're ready to listen. All right. That you're ready to not just understand, but understand. The story of Jesus taught you how to accept and be forgiving of people who didn't deserve it from you. It taught you how to be overly humble and bowing to people who didn't deserve it from you. It taught you how to accept shit. It taught you how to be stabbed and mocked and abused. It taught you how to accept bullshit from people. The meek shall inherit the earth. That has never happened. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying you go out here in the world and be a nefarious mother sucker, right? Because that's the surest way to get, get your get your wings clipped in more ways than one. But what I am saying is, if you're just cheap and meek and overly humble, you're going to get ate up out here in this world. It is necessary. That, let me tell you something. You better become a schwolf, if it, a sheep slash wolf. Not a sheep and wolf, not a wolf in sheep clothing, because that's just a fake person. You just fake. No, 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 no. Let people know who you are. Face value. Let people be let people be able to feel your angel and your demon, your beauty and your beast. We should be able to see it all. If you ever have the opportunity to cross paths with me, you will feel my dark and my light. Not because I'm trying to let you feel it, but because I'm authentically showing up in both my dark and my light. If I smile at you, it's because you deserve a smile from me. If I don't, then you probably already know why. Or it's probably because I just didn't see you. (laughs) Right? Energy speaks for itself. So let's get back on track here. It's necessary for you on your new level to become a new devil as well. The biggest lie one of the one of the biggest lies we've been told was uh, about ourselves was that we were supposed to be these again meek docile beings on this planet and 
a lot of the suffering that us humans experience is because we have suppressed, demonized, and vilified our dark nature, our shadow selves. The reason why we suffer is because we have not activated our inner demons. Ooh. The reason we suffer is because we have been taught to demonize, suppress, and vilify our inner devil, our dark shadow self. And now when you think about devil and dark shadow self, don't we're not thinking about this the way the church has taught you to believe it, the way your religion or the way your traditional beliefs have taught you to believe it. We're not thinking, we're not going to talk about the demon and devil and shadow self the way movies have depicted it. Okay. We're going to talk about this from, and I just saw 1111. We're going to talk about this from an ancient perspective. When we look out at nature, we see the balance of everything, don't we? We have the sun. We also have the what? We've got the moon. We have day. We also have what? Night. We have yin. We have yang. Angel, demon, heaven, hell, God, devil, right? And so I talk about this and activate. And again, if you all, I just saw 1111 again, if you all have gotten your copies, please let me know so that you all can join in on the book club that is available on Patreon forward slash Alchemy. Let me know if you want to be a part of the book club so we can break down some of the components that I discuss and activate. But we look out and we see the polarities of everything. Yet we suppress and hide the polarity within ourselves. And the only time we want to activate our shadow self is if somebody pisses us off. That's not what the shadow self is just there to do. It's not supposed to be reactive. You're supposed to be, we're all supposed to be integrating these dark elements within ourselves. So I'll just self-disclose a bit on my dark night of the soul journey. Again, dark night of the soul odyssey journey is when you go into the shadow parts of your mind and of your body, of your life. And you ask every question that you were told not to ask. You question everything. You question God. You even question the devil. As a matter of fact, they come together in perfect unison just to support you. Not only is God supporting you, whatever your beliefs are in God, but also the devil exists to support you. Because remember, God and the devil are one and the same. One cannot and will not exist without the other. And for those of you who are really, ready, really, really ready to hear this, God and the devil, one and the same, are twin flames. Oh, God and the devil are one and the same and are twin flames. They have been married in holy matrimony. They always have been. It was man humans, right? Due to their greed, jealousy, selfishness, desire to divide and conquer, divide and conquer. Divide and conquer didn't just happen in land and territory. Divide and conquer happened within our minds and our bodies too. The whole notion of slavery was to divide and conquer us within, divide us mentally, divide us emotionally, divide us spiritually inside. We are stripped and torn and been taught that there is a war between light and dark. There's never been a war between light and dark. Humans who wanted to divide you within and conquer you mentally and conquer you physically, conquer you financially, conquer you emotionally, told you that there was a war so that you'd always be at war within yourself. There's never been a war between dark and light. There's never been a war between God and the devil. There's never been a war between angels and demons because they are one and the same. And for them to be at war with each other would mean they would be at war with themselves. And as we look around us, we can see that we as human beings have been at war with ourselves and each other. Why? Because we refuse to, to accept and to integrate and to activate our demon our shadow self, our God. So our inner, our inner devil, which is God. Okay. So let's break down and dive a, a bit more into the true ancient wisdom behind our shadow self, behind our inner demons, behind your inner devil. Your new level requiring you to be a new devil means you're going to have to be okay with storming kingdoms. 
Your new level requiring you to be a new devil will mean that you're going to have to tell yourself that it's okay not to be nice to a person or people who don't deserve it. Now, you're not just going around being a bitch or being an asshole or being a jerk. That's not what the shadow self is. And if you think that's what it means, you're not doing the inner work on yourself. You haven't done the inner shadow work. You haven't developed your emotional intelligence, nor have you developed your mental health. Go and do the work in yourself and then come back and listen to this. Okay. You becoming a new devil on your new level means you're not going to be apologetic when you don't need to be. You're not going to be overly humble, overly catering or overly giving. You're not going to try to save face. You're going to, your new level requiring you to be a new devil means you're going to be pissing people off and not because you're an asshole, not because you're being a bitch, not because you're a jerk. You're going to be pissing people off because you're not going to be falling for their bullshit. Ooh, you're going to be pissing people off because as, as an activated 144 one, you're going to be seeing past people's crap and they're going to hate you for it. That is why you're going to be a new devil on your new level because you're going to be able to call people out on their shit. You're going to be taking on new jobs, new roles. You're going to be in positions of power and you're going to be clear in the field. You're going to, you're going to go into positions of power. You're going to take on a new job, take on new roles. You're going to go into the office. <laughs> people who have been there for years, they're, they're automatically going to be leaving because you're going to be calling them out on some shit. Stuff that people didn't have the guts to do before, you're going to be doing it. You're going to be clearing house. It's kind of like when the president goes into the White House, that that entire, that everybody that worked for the previous president, that previous administration leaves with the old president. When the new president comes in, vice president or any political position, they clean house. They don't keep anybody who was from the previous administration. They bring in their own folks. They bring in all new folks because you can't have any moles in the camp. Your new level requiring you to be new, a new devil means you're going to piss some people off because they will no longer be able to get away with their shit. Not while you're around, not on your watch. If we remember some stories about the devil, right? Or Lucifer, the devil was known to be talented, could sing, had one of the most beautiful voices was beautiful, attractive, gorgeous. So you're going to be intimidating to people because you're attractive. You're going to be like the devil to them just because you're attractive. Just because you're talented, just because you have skill. Your new level requiring you to be a new devil means that you're no longer going to be hiding your skills, your talents, your abilities. You're no longer going to be hiding your spiritual gifts. You're no longer going to be hiding your empathic abilities. You're no longer going to be biting your tongue. Now, you know, you will know when to speak and when not to. You will know when to speak and when not to. And when you decide to speak, you know that it's going to make the most impact. When you decide not to speak, it will be making the most impact. So you will be strategic. And whatever it is that you say, do, write, speak, your new level will require you to be a new devil. It doesn't mean you, you're mean. You're not going around being, again, you're not going around being an asshole. You're not going around being mean. As a matter of fact, you could be one of the nicest, coolest people. But people will know not to cross you because they will feel your activated demon. They will feel your activated inner devil. They will know not to cross you. And the ones that feel foggy enough to leap, they will be made an example of. And not meaning you have to do anything to them. But as an activated 144 one, you have a spiritual fleet around you that don't play and will not play about you. You won't have to lift a finger to do any, anything to anybody that felt foggy enough to leap. Your spiritual guides would take care of that. Trust and believe it. And anybody that's listening to this, if you even think you can cross the line with an activated 144 one, a person who is here to fulfill divine missions. In an attempt to come against them, you'll be coming against yourself. That's how it works. So be wise. So <sighs> let's take a breather. Let me take some. Let me take a sip of my 
of my water infused with electrolytes. Hold on, y'all. I know we were going in for a minute. Let's take a little breather. <sighs> yeah. Your new level requiring you to be a new devil means you will be calling people out on their shit when you feel guided to do so. A lot of the times you'll be calling people out on their shit without even trying. You'll just be having a regular conversation. Maybe you're in a board meeting, team meeting, and you just say something that's been on your heart and your mind. And it isn't about anybody in particular. It's just something you felt strong within you, a strong conviction to say. And the way that you say it will bring certain people to their knees because you're going to be talking about them and you don't even know it. That's how divine wisdom works. It will rise up in those of you who have done and are doing the inner work on yourself. You will be speaking, saying something, and you just feel this, this strong notion within to just say it. And the way that you say it with such conviction and passion and authority, you won't even know that you will be piercing the heart of somebody in that room because they're guilty as charged. And you had no idea. You were just speaking your mind. You were just speaking your truth and it will pierce them. But you know, they say a hit dog will holler, hurt dog will holler. I hate that term, but I couldn't think of anything better than that. Who wants to hear a hit dog holler? That's horrible. I love animals. <laughs> I love animals more than humans. I do. <laughs> oh, if you love animals more than humans, make, put, put that in the comments section we can laugh about it together but it's it's my truth i know i've been holding that truth in for some time so not, listen i get so emotional when i see animal videos and abandoned and hurt honey i want to fight whoever that i wish i could just see him in my mind's eye and orb to them and just beat them up <laughs> beat them down let's get back on track see that's my activated shadow self i can say things like that and feel completely comfortable in saying it i used to hide that because i used to think people would think oh, she's crazy i am crazy and I like my crazy. I'm a good kind of crazy. I'm the kind of crazy you'd want. I'm the kind of crazy people wish they could be. I like my crazy. And part of your mission is to activate your crazy. You're crazy, meaning you are no longer aligning with the BS the world told you to align with. You are crazy to people who you don't fit in with anymore. You never really did. So you're considered crazy by those people because you're not like them, because you're not the norm like them. You are not just ordinary like them. You are extraordinary. You are extraordinary. And that is what makes you crazy. And I love it. So your new level requiring you to be a new devil. This is what this means. And it goes even deeper than this, but this is enough for now. So I hope you all enjoyed this. To those of you who are subscribed here on Alchemy, because turning pain into power is sexy. Thank you for being here. I'm so glad that whatever I say resonates with you on a deeper level. For those of you who have not subscribed, what the hell are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? <laughs> right? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Make sure you like this video and make sure you share it. All right? This is how we get the algorithm going. You got to share it, baby, and comment. Let me know. Let me feel you. Let me hear from you. Again, get your copy of Activate. It is on Amazon in paperback and ebook. All the information uh, to get access to the book, access to my merch is in the description box below. My link tree is below. Listen, if it's not on my link tree, it is not me. So don't get scammed. If it's not on my link tree, it's not me. The only other YouTube that I have is my personal YouTube, Tamisha Burgess. That's the only thing that's not on my link tree because you can only attach one, one YouTube channel. So anyway, and that's in my description box. But if you want to get in touch with me, click the link tree. You can email me at Tamisha Burgess at gmail.com. You can visit me on my website, Tamisha Burgess.com. You can fill out a contact me form there. And uh, yeah. Hope you all enjoy this. Your new level requiring you to be a new devil, baby. So go ahead. Be that. Say, tell people I'll be that. I'll be that. When people try to say you are some sort of a witch or cultist, say, I'll be that. That's a compliment. That's a compliment when you know better. <laughs> That's a compliment when you know 
better. I'll see y'all in the next cast. I'll chat with you in the next cast. Ciao for now. Mm -hmm. <laughs>